For today's video I did do this chala inspired makeup look that I saw on my Instagram feed and I wanted to recreate it for you guys. I think it came out really cute. It really looks kind of basic on me honestly because I don't have like the really cute hoops and my ponytail is not all that cute. This hairstyle is so cute. I'm living for it. I'm living for the makeup. But if you guys want to have a little chit chat session with me while I do my makeup and get ready then just stick around because we're gonna get into it okay so before we get really in depth in this video i do want to thank you guys so 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 much for 3k because not to toot my own horn but i have been waiting so long to yeah i'm gonna say it to finally get the recognition that i deserve i mean I haven't always been consistent with YouTube, but I have been on YouTube for over three years and it's taken me a long time. Like I am just now finally, sorry, my smoke detector is going to go off. I'm just letting you know now, but I'm about to start my eyeliner. Hold on. Before I start talking too much, I'm going to insert the look that I was inspired by right here on the screen so that you guys can know. That's what I'm going to be doing today. It's not really a tutorial, but that's what I'm attempting to do today. And that's what I'm going to do to y'all while I rant because this is a get ready with me. So just for reference, that's the look that I'm doing. As I was saying, you know, I am just not getting to a place as well where I feel like my content is actually what I want it to be. Like in the past three years alone, I feel like. Also this, hold on, this swoop, uh, this is my first time trying to do a swoop with a half up, half down, so if it looks a little crazy, forget me, but as I was saying, I've been on YouTube for three years, but only in the last six months have I really found a theme for my channel, and I feel like it actually makes sense now when you come to my channel, you can look at, you know, my homepage and scroll down, and it kind of makes sense of what I post, and the crazy part, hold on, because this liner is going to kill me right now. I want to say that the secret to liner is just to do it because if you overthink it or if you go too slow that's how you mess up but if you just do it honestly it comes out pretty good because I was saying I feel like I finally because my videos used to be not only were my videos not consistent the first year and a half but they didn't really have a theme I would just kind of post whatever I thought you guys would like or whatever was trending and now I post trending things but I also post things that I'm genuinely interested in and I feel like that has brought me a lot of much appreciated attention because people can come to me and they know what they're gonna get I just messed up I'm gonna clean it up it's okay but people can come to me and they know what they're gonna get from me they know what type of content i produce i don't know if you guys know this but i mean if you're new here then you don't know this but if you've been here then you know this i've never had an ad on my video i don't get paid for this i've been on youtube for three years and i haven't gotten any money for it so i genuinely do this because i love it and you know one day i will get I honestly think by the end of this month I will be monetized because I am very close in terms of watch hours. I'm so sorry, this is so irritating. In, term of, in terms of watch hours, I am very close. So I think I will get monetized very, very, very soon. I'm trying to manifest it because my hours have been jumping a lot lately. Like I said, I've been getting a lot more recognition. And no, it's not on like a huge scale. But it's on a scale where I am very appreciative, you know, people are discovering me every single day. And I really thoroughly, I value that. I value the love that I get every single day because it means a lot to me. But I'm just very, very, very happy with my channel. Like, very happy. I have never been this secure, this confident, this proud of the content that I produce and actually always sorry I've always had a passion for YouTube in terms of like wanting to be like if I could do anything in the world I'd be a YouTuber 
because you know what I just never really had the means like in high school I didn't have the means to have a whole channel you know I didn't have a camera I didn't even have an iPhone in high school you guys like I really have come such a long way and one day I will make a glow up video because I am the definition of a glow up I feel like but I didn't even have an iPhone in high school I didn't have an iPhone until I graduated high school and I got a job and I bought one myself like it's that serious but hold on let me do this other way real quick i will a hundred percent do a video on my glow up once i feel like i have enough to say i'm super appreciative of everything that i have been blessed with i have been getting a lot of blessings this year um regardless of the pandemic and everything that's been happening like aside from that of course i've had a really good year and i feel really good with where i'm going I know there's no stopping anytime soon. I'm just really, really, really proud of my progress. And you guys know, there were so many times where I literally was like, I'm not doing this anymore. Like, YouTube is not getting anywhere and I'm wasting my time. And you really can't feel that way because especially, especially since I just love creating content, I feel like I'm glad that I didn't completely give up at all because you know it only took a matter of time that's really cute it only took a matter of time for me to really grow and i just had to be patient and i'm really bad at being patient i have no patience and so it was hard for me to foresee growth in my future because it just i just couldn't see it i didn't see myself growing it i do want to say once ads start coming on my videos you know um and I'm so excited because I have so much good content planned that I have been putting off for so long. But now that I know that you guys actually like the content that I enjoy making, I'm about to go ham with it. Because the reason why I would have days where I didn't know what I was going to post or what to film or I didn't have to film motivated was because I felt like the videos that I wanted to post, you guys didn't want to see. And lately all I've been posting are videos that I want to film and that I think are interesting and that I watch myself. And so y'all have been receiving it really, really well. And that has made me super happy. So I feel like I am at a place where, you know, I'm happy. And I can't wait to, you know, fully indulge myself in videos and content and just create amazing amazing things for y'all i'm so appreciative of you guys but you know i always open up my comments for suggestions so if you guys you know have any suggestions of videos that y'all want to see i'm always always open for suggestions this is going to be hard with this one. but yeah i'm always open to suggestions because y'all are the ones that get me where i am and all that I really feel like I've been hitting milestones back to back like in the past month the growth has been really really crazy but I'm mad because I just had to re-up on some Mac cork if you've ever heard of Mac cork it's the perfect freaking like brown for tan girls I just ran out of it so I just had to buy it so I don't know how I'm gonna do the whole chola lips it's gonna be a little hard to pull off without that color but we're gonna do it also, my TikTok has been going up a lot lately. If you guys don't follow me on TikTok, go do that. It's at it's leak leak. I'll put it on the screen. It'll be in the description. But make sure you're active with me on social media because I am super super active on social media. I post every single day, at least on my story. I don't post pictures every single day, but I am active on my story every single day. So make sure that you follow me on social media so that you can always know everything before everyone else does because my social media gets to know everything before the youtube fam does and i want y'all to get in on the tea of course i'm actually really feeling this hairstyle my hair is super thin i want to try extensions because my hair is so thin but i'm also waiting to see how my hair grows because if you guys know i did do the big chop about it'll be two years in october that i chopped off more than half of my hair so i'm just waiting for that to get in order but let's go and try I love a hoop earring. I've been wearing hoops since middle school. Like, I love hoops. I don't say it a lot. I know I've said it probably like I get to know me, but I am Puerto Rican, half Puerto Rican and half black. I need a little bit more. 
covered, but by the way, you guys, I live in California. I talk about it a lot. Specifically, I'm from the Bay Area, and I can't believe that California has the highest cases of COVID. Like, what are y'all doing? Like, I had a vacation plan. It's keep. It continues to get pushed back. I need to push it back again. I think I'm just gonna push it till next summer because I'm not going anywhere. I don't want to go anywhere right now. I don't feel. Even the places that are open, because the place that I want to go to, or that I, that my tickets were for for vacation, is at a place where they're pretty much open. You just have to wear a mask, but they do require you to bring, you know, paperwork saying that you have tested negative for COVID-19. But I just don't want to go on vacation worrying about if someone's gonna get me sick or if I'm gonna potentially, what is the word? affect other people that that could get it for me if i have no symptoms like i'm just not i don't know i don't see i don't see myself on vacation with a mask on if you get what i'm saying like that's just not that's not sound fun to me at all i want to do like a full face of black owned brands or a haul full of black owned clothing but i need to do my i need to do more research because I don't want to do the brands that everyone already knows, you know, like I want to find brands that are very small, like small businesses or people don't really know about them because that way not only am I putting y'all on but I'm putting myself on two smaller brands that you wouldn't know of or think about because I think that that's important too. But, you know, also making sure that they're affordable because I'm not rich by no means, I am not rich so I love to put people on to inexpensive things. The truth of the matter is that I can't afford it myself. If I can't afford something myself, I'm not gonna recommend it to y'all, I'm just not. And I'm not like I'm broke, like dirt poor, but like I do like to think of when I watch your videos and how some people only include really high-end brands and it makes you like, how can I possibly buy something from this brand when I got money like that? Her thigh, her liner is so thick. I feel like I need to make mine thicker. I feel like I'm gonna mess it up if I make it thicker. I'm gonna try to make it a little thicker on top. Just because I want it to look. Yeah, that's thick. That's thick enough. I have TikTok songs stuck in my head literally all day long. Like, all day long. All I do all day long is sing TikTok songs. So, also, I had the same bra routine for not even kidding you, probably three years. And I have not touched my dip brow in about a month. So, a brow tutorial is coming because the fact that I don't use dip brow anymore something's happening but i'm gonna pop on some lashes real quick and then i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna add me some moles and stuff like that lashes are on with my extensions next they look so big but my extensions are just too sparse my appointment is next week so i just can't wear them by themselves anymore so i'm about to i'm gonna use my dark brown liner which is by wet and wild and it's in the color pretty and mink it's really dark and I'm gonna just honestly mix it with my nude liner so that it's not so dark see that's really dark but we're gonna mix it so it's good and then I'm gonna use this nudie brown and I'll mix it so I'm gonna use this to just go over that brown so it looks a lot better than when I first put it on now I'm gonna go over it with the nude Now I'm going to add some highlight and then I'm going to add probably a mole or two just to set it off. So I'm going to use the champagne pop. I'm already glowing a little bit because period, but still I need to add some glow. On the brows, some on my nose, can see this be? Yes, yes baby. Okay, that's a little bit too much. I never, I could never do evenly like good and then good. It's always one side where I go stupid, like literally go 
stupid, go crazy, go dumb on one side. I'm gonna add literally just one mole. I'll add it like right here. I love this makeup. Oh my gosh. All right, y'all, this is the completed Trilla makeup. I think it came out so, so, so cute. Hopefully, I didn't babble too much for you guys. But you know the deal. If you want to see more videos with me, please make sure you let me know down below by liking and commenting and subscribing to my channel for some more link in your life and turning your post notifications so that you never, ever, 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 ever miss when I post a video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.